Well, welcome to this Mac Support Cast. My name is Larry, and today we're going to take a look at making a holiday card right on your Mac in the application pages, which is part of the iWork set of applications. So let's bring up pages here, jump right in here. We have our template chooser. I've jumped right down here to cards and invitations, and I'm going to start with this birthday card. I double click it, and here it comes up. And we don't need this picture right here. I'm going to go ahead and remove that, and I'm going to also remove the text here. So I've got my beginning of my card. Now I've pre-written some text, and I've got an image I've already picked out. Now the images I could get out of the media area right here, and we could go choose something out of our iPhoto library, but I've got mine sitting separately. Let me bring this up here. We've got our finder panel here, and I've got some stuff I want to work with. Let's move this over a little. And I have my, let's see, I don't need my signature. I want my ornaments. I went over to an application called Swift Publisher, and I created this little image here. Now, I could have purchased an image from something like iStock Photo or done a number of different things, but I decided I'd just make one locally here for this demonstration. I'm going to pull this out and get it to a place where it's not too close. I don't want to get it too close to the edge of the card, so I think I'm getting a little too big here. I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down just a little bit. Just make sure that we're not too close to the edges and printing and things. So I did all this, like I said, in Swift Publisher. You could do it in a lot of things, or this could be the family picture or anything, and I created this part. So that's really easy. That's done. Now I want the back of the card to have a little bit of text, so I'm going to go ahead and add a text box here. I'll click off of it and click back on. I can move it up here, and I'm going to go ahead and bring up some text that I pre-wrote to save some time here during this cast. And we'll grab this first part over here. And I'm going to say, I don't need to paste and match style. I already got it small. I'm going to paste it in. It's going to go like this. And I'm going to have to do some adjustments. I don't want that that big. I'm going to go over here to the text area. And you know what? I think I want my fonts up here. I'm going to go ahead and just use this font panel. I'm going to go ahead and run this down to about 11. And I'm going to... I think I'll just leave it at that because it's just a little notification. I'll center it and let's go ahead and give it a little color. I choose this green and there it is. That's just some information on the back of my card. Now there is one more thing I want to do because right now it's right side up. But once I fold this card right along this line, that will be upside down on the back of the card. So we're going to go over here, take and rotate this to 180 degrees and we hit return and there it is. And there it is in the proper place. And we'll move it up a little. Actually, that's down on the page. So now we've got our outside of our card. Let's go ahead and add a page for the inside. Here's our pages button. Go in here and say, here's inside. And now I have an inside. I want to start working on this area. I've pre-written some text again. I'm going to grab my main uh, message, the top uh, title. Copy that. And now I'm going to go ahead, I double clicked and that jumped right up there. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, the edit and say paste and match style. So that goes right in there. Now I'm going to select this one, get the rest of it. I looked up a message on the web looking for something interesting to say. Uh, maybe you're going to write your own personalized note. But I'm going to go ahead and say paste and match style here again. And this isn't quite the look I want at the moment. First thing, I don't want the credit thing so big. So we're going to go ahead and get those uh, fonts back up here real quick and run these down to about 12, maybe 11. And we'll go ahead and leave that as it is. And I want to do some more with this text here. In this text, I want to go ahead and space it out. So I'm going to go here to the inspector, and I'm going to go ahead and look at the line spacing here, and I can start bringing this up to something that looks more the way I want. And the other thing I'd like to do with this is I don't really want to make it a list, but I want an indent on it like this to bring it in. And I want to bring it on down a little bit more into the page like this. And I could go ahead here before paragraph and work with that. Let's see if we can get this to move back just a little bit up. So you get a little fine tuning here in the before paragraph area. And there's just one more thing I need to do to finish off this card. I'm going to click out of that area and I'm going to go ahead and grab another image that I have. And that's a signature. Now I scanned this in with my printer. 
I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down and move it over here right where I want it. And it's still a little bit big. Let me bring that down quite a bit more so I can slide it up into place. You notice that if I had it here, I wouldn't want to go up here to arrange and say send to back or backward. I'm going to say send to back now. It's behind this text, so it's not being affected by it. And now this text is in the way there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and send this one to the back for a moment. Uh, I've got to select that properly. Go back and say send to back now. I can select this again and adjust this just a little bit right there. It's fine. It's not covering anything, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. And there we have. Now I would save this document. And the next thing we need to do is send this up to print. Now there's two things we could do to print this. And one is, well, let me just bring up the print dialog box. Here's our card here, and here's we can look, check the two pages here, go back and forth. And one of the things I could do is just say print to PDF here and save as PDF, and then I would have a document in a folder on my computer that I could send up to a printing service or um, to have them do it on nice cardstock. But I want to print it locally here, and I want to check an example. So one of the things I would want to do with my computer is this, this is two-sided. I'm going to choose the two-sided. I'm going to tell it to align along the short side, this bottom edge down here. And I'm going to check a few other things, color matching, paper handling. In this case, we could go and say, you know, fit the paper, do something. I'm not going to change any of that. Paper type and quality, though. This one you'll want to check if you have some card stock on hand and you're going to jump in there and use that in your printer. And you can go in and choose something like a greeting card paper here and it'll adjust the printer and knows that that's a little heavier uh, stock here. And you can go ahead and choose one of those. And then we would go ahead and, and make Maybe for a first draft is run a fast draft here, which we won't use as much ink. Therefore, we could make sure everything's aligned properly. And one reason you'd want to do that is if your computer doesn't do two-sided printing and you need to print one side, then put the paper back into the printer, you want to figure out your orientation. Do you flip that left to right or right to left? Or do you front, flip it front to back or back to front? Well, those are the same thing, uh, front to back, back to front. But you get the idea, is you might want to check that first so you don't waste ink and paper. In my computer, what happens when I select the two-sided printing is it will go along and print one side, but it won't quite eject the paper all the way. It'll sit there for the ink to dry. It'll say ink is drying, and then it'll suck it back in, flip it over through some rollers in there, and then print the other side and spit it out and go on to the next one and keep doing that. All righty, let's go ahead and print this. Okay, well, we've printed our card here, and you can see I've taken a picture of it. Here's the front side. And then we're going to flip it over here and take a look at the inside and finally we got the back side here we got the little credit on the back or whatever you'd like to do and you can do a lot more with these if you'd like well making cards isn't just for the holidays you know you need cards all year round for all kinds of special occasions in fact if you forgot that special occasion, that birthday, that anniversary or anything at all and you get home and you suddenly realize it now you can jump onto your computer, quickly make a card up and print it out, and you can really save your bacon. Okay, that wraps things up here. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you around on the web. This is Larry at MacSupportCast.com.